a solar-powered car designed and built by students to race nearly 1900 miles across Australia, is being put through its bases on Fort Stunton test track. The car's 6 square meters of photovoltaic cells are expected to propel it at 50 to 60 miles per hour, from Darwin to Adelaide in 4 to 5 days. So over the next four to six weeks, we're going to be loaning our test track and some of our workshop facilities. Over the years, we've had several research projects with Cambridge and generally we try and encourage young people getting into engineering. For our eco-strategy, we're looking at battery electric vehicles. Um, we're not into solar vehicles, but certainly alternative sources of energy are very key to our business strategy, particularly here at Dunton, where we are the centre for powertrain. And, and that's the heart of all the vehicles that we're going to be producing in the future. The solar car, which has a carbon fibre shell over an aluminium space frame, weighs just 170 kilograms. When the solar cells are fitted, they will generate about 1.2 kilowatts of power, about the same as a hairdryer, which will propel it at 50 to 60 miles per hour. This has been a two-year two project. The first year we spent um, building a prototype car. Then since um, since around October, the whole focus has been on this on this race vehicle. Ford have have agreed to to let us on the on the track um, at the weekends over the next seven weeks, and we're hoping to drive it around. I guess just make sure it's make sure it's running reliably, and then um, and then the aim will be to to start to collect data on the um, efficiency characteristics of the motor um, and eventually this the solar panel. Um, the, the batteries, everything like that. And that will all come into a, a strategy model that we'll be able to use during the race. Building and preparing the solar car has involved 80 students, including four who will share nine hours of driving a day in the October heat of the Australian desert. Um, if we can finish the race and finish in a, in a good time, um, top ten in the world, then we'll be, we'll be happy. That would be the, um, the best the British team has ever, ever done.